Hey guys, Chad Hoover, Kayak Bass Fishing. Today I want to talk to you about getting started kayak fishing. So one of the comments that comes up over and over and over on my channel when I promote a new product or when I promote a premium product, whether it's the Power Pole, the Torquedo, a Lawrence Depth Finder, is the concept that gear doesn't catch fish, anglers catch fish. And that's true. Um, you would expect me as a sponsored angler, especially sponsored by most of these companies that I'm going to get on here and tell you, you have to have the gear that I use in my television show on my YouTube channel. And when I'm out fishing, uh, on a regular basis, but I'm not going to tell you that. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to tell you is that you need three things to go kayak fishing. You need a paddle, a PFD, and you need a kayak. You get the kayak that's the most comfortable for you. You get the kayak that satisfies your needs. You get the paddle that's the best that you can buy that satisfies your needs. And you get a PFD that's going to save your life. Everything else really is a luxury. Now, if you're in a competitive environment and you're trying to be a tournament angler and you want to have a level playing field with the other great anglers that also have a lot of skill, but they have structure scan and increased mobility and better sensitivity with rods and yada, 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 then you definitely have to start considering the better products out there. In fact, that's why those products are considered professional products. Those pros are using those products. And though we don't fully have a pro kayak fishing concept yet, we're getting there. Uh, I make a living kayak fishing, so you know the argument could be made that I'm a professional kayak fisherman. I don't really consider myself a professional kayak fisherman. I consider myself an artist, an entertainer, uh, a promoter, marketer, an entrepreneur. Um, I make a living by uh, doing a lot of different things and layering it, not by you know being a professional fisherman. I've been labeled that. Um, I don't run away from it, but in the truest sense, I am an entrepreneur and therefore, you know, it makes sense for me to align myself with the best companies in the game. But here's what it boils down to. You really don't have to have these things to enjoy yourself. You may need them to be competitive. You may need them to feel fulfilled if you're trying to be the best possible, most complete angler that you can be from the standpoint of taking advantage of every tool that's available to you but some of my better days on the water some of my more memorable catches have come when i was in a lightweight uh, wilderness systems commander uh, i was in a cheap sit on top when i first started kayak fishing and i had a one tackle box or a ziploc bag full of lures between my legs two rods between my legs and two in flush mount rod holders behind me or a couple between my legs just floating down a river. Um, so I'm not gonna stand here and tell you that you need everything that I put on my kayak to go fishing and have a good time. In fact, I don't put everything on my kayak every time I go fishing. But at the same time, I'm obsessed with this sport. I'm obsessed with doing the best I can to maximize my effectiveness, uh, whether or not that's a power pole, making it easier to hold position in the wind, and present to fish when I have to catch them to make a TV show or when I have to catch them if I'm trying to have a good showing in a, in a tournament or whether I want to use my electronics to kind of unlock the mysteries of the depth uh, of the deep or find where the fish are hiding when I can't find them where I think they are or confirm that they're there before I fish for them to save time because it's a new fishery. You know, those are all things that are that are nice to have. They're all things that are part of you know, the evolution of an angler if you decide to take it to that next level. But they're not something that you have to have. What you have to have is a positive mental attitude, confidence, a PFD, a paddle, and a kayak that floats that's as comfortable as you can afford to get out on the water. And after that, everything else is, you know, icing on top, cherry on top, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, when it really comes down to it, I'm not on this channel trying to tell you that you have to have everything that I have. I'm on this channel trying to show you the things that you can have if you work hard, if you try hard, and if you want to have them. If you are the type of person that spends 300 plus days on the water a year like I do, and they're worth it to you. You know, I'll be honest with you, if I fish 10, 15, 20 days a year, it wouldn't be worth it for me to have some of the toys 
and tools, tools that I have for my craft. But as much as I fish, I'm gonna put every possible advantage that I can in my corner so I can catch as many fish as I can to catch the best fish that I can and so that I can share that experience with you. So I'm Chad Hoover. I hope you get out there and enjoy yourself regardless of the level of gear, how many toys you have or how much money you spend on it. Just get out there and enjoy yourself. Everything else will take care of itself. I'll see you guys next time. Give this video a big thumbs up if you agree. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and turn on those notifications so we can continue the conversation in one of my next videos. So see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.